Um, how is the squad shaping up for Tuesday? Yeah, look, we have to assess the lads now. Rachel will assess the lads and Mo uh, tomorrow and then Monday and then we'll know where we're at. Look, I'm, I never want to be that manager that comes on and says, oh, we've got four players out and they're key players and three of them out of four potentially start and we're missing them and if they come back in, they make it all right. It's, it's not. Lads get an opportunity and I think lads are doing well. Lads are performing to a good level. It's not that lads are not performing at the minute. It's the fact that we're not getting a rubber to green in both boxes at the minute. And, you know, we've got to keep working hard. The only way you turn that round is by hard work, sheer hard work on the training ground and every time you step across the white line and give everything. And we've got a group of lads that are giving everything for the football club at the minute, so we'll just keep sticking to our beliefs and sticking by them. And you went up to Nottingham last night um, um, to watch the game. They look like the team to beat this year, don't they? They play some really good football. Yeah, they've just got huge amounts of quality all over the pitch. Uh, and that was the difference within the game, I thought. Maidstone defended quite well in a low block. They didn't really get over the halfway line much, but Notts pinned them in. But Rodriguez, Langstaff and Scott, they just showed real quality with all their goals, like out of nothing. And for me, we've created better chances today than what Notts County had the other day, but they've won 3-0. And that's just the quality in the top end of the pitch, and, and that's where they're at, and that's where we're at at the minute. But where are they different from last year? Last year they, they really stuck to their brand of football, didn't they? But they've had a managerial change. Um, are they still playing that really, really attractive attacking football that we saw from them last year, that we ran them close in both games as well? With? Yeah, they haven't they haven't changed much to in what they do. There's a few tweaks to their patterns of play and what they do that, that we noticed and we've noticed in, in the games leading up that we've watched me and Matty. Uh, but they haven't changed loads. They've got lots of quality. When when the quality is firing and full of confidence, you're going to win games of football, and that's what they're doing. They're winning games consistently at the minute. They lost in the cup the other week, which is a little blip, and they bounced back. They've reacted. He made eight changes in that game, and they've got a squad. They've got an unbelievable squad at Notts County to pick from. They can probably pick two teams and be competitive within this division at the top end of the division. Uh, so, look, they're a club that are at a different scale at us at the minute. They're looking to get promotion and want to get promotion. And, and when you go there last night, they're a club that should be within the, the higher ends of English football, but they're not. They're at our level for a reason, uh, and we have a belief that we can get something from the game. Every game we go into, we believe we can get something from. So we'll be going into the game believing that we can get something from. Hopefully we can tactically get it right, us as a management team, and the lads execute it. And we believe in the lads, they will. They take the information on really well. So look, we're looking forward to the game. It's a game we've got to look forward to. We've got to make sure it's as hostile, hostile as possible at the Val come Tuesday at 7.45. It's like this time last year we had Tabletop in Grimsby come to our place on a Tuesday night. We've got a 1 0 win. I'm sure you might not want to say, but how do you stop them? How do you stop Knots? Look, you, there's, there's different ways, and look, I don't really want to talk about it on camera in the way that we're going to set up. We have, we've have we already got a, a game plan with an eye head, me and Matty now. We still want to watch another couple of their games just to make sure that they, they do stick to them similar patterns that we feel that we can hurt them in transition and stuff like that. But yeah, look, we'll have a game plan and uh, hopefully we can go get, get a result. Cheers, Chris. Cheers, Chris. All the best, mate.